All right, guys, we are trying to put some new handlebars on the DR200SE, mainly because I smashed my face on this, and I don't know if you could tell, but it's kind of bent. So I got some bars right here, two pairs. I've got this one that's already fixed, and then this one that's like a separate piece. And I think um, even though these are some newer Renthals, I'm going to go with the older ones that came off my Suzuki. Uh, just because it's fixed, and I like that more. We'll start taking this apart, and I'll show you guys step by step kind of how to take apart your handlebars and set them back up. You're gonna need some tools, you know, ratchet, size eight, size ten, uh, Phillips screwdriver, multi-tool, or something like that. That'll work. This is your throttle assembly. Slide right off of it. Got a clip right here. I'm gonna clip that. This is your brake reservoir. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll loosen this, it should be a size 8. Loosen that up. Break that loose. Personally, I just like to break everything loose first. I'm going to loosen the clutch perch. Kind of just loud out here. Okay, now that's loose. We can get back behind here. Multi-tool again. Go ahead and break this loose. This is my sister Hello. and my nephew Emerson. So in order to get all this stuff off, you gotta get these grips off. And it's easiest to do that when this is still structurally sound. So don't break these loose. Go ahead and take your razor blade and cut through your old grips. That's how I like to do it. And once they're cut, Sandpaper. This uh, this is way more difficult than I anticipated on this one. Alright, so I got some sandpaper here. I'm trying to get the last of this all smoothed out. Okay, so these bolts are going to be size 12. Go ahead and get your size 12 and break these loose. And we can start pulling off all this. But, okay, we got them loose. Okay, that is one side. Just take one there you go. In this bar we've got a hole here, and in this bar we don't have it, so we either have to drill the a hole right here where the would be. I think we could do that. You can see how aggressive the angle on the old bar is comparatively to on the new bars. Well, the new old bars. Um, so I think that's going to give us a, a better stance for trail riding as opposed to road riding. That's what these are made for, and that's also why these trail riding bars don't have those holes because usually a trail bike doesn't have all those gadgets and stuff that are on that one. So what I figured we're going to do is we're going to take these bars, we're going to go ahead and mount them, put them on, and then once they're mounted and put it on, then we'll be able to determine where we want to drill our holes and whatnot. So, so we figured out that you have to put the clutch side on first because it can't really snap around the bar, so you have to slide it from one side. These two, the brake reservoir and your uh, kill switch and stuff, this you can just clamp right around it. So. You have to do this side first, then your right side. A little scoot, scoot, rolling by. If you guys like scooter videos, I got a couple of those too. Now we can put our brake reservoir on. Okay. Throttle assembly back on there. Alright, once you feel you got your bars in the position you like them. Go ahead and tighten them down. 
Now you can put the back of the throttle assembly back together. Alright, now go ahead and tighten up the bolts on the back once you figure out where you want to get it. Check your brake, how you like it. That's loosening. Take your time, tighten that up. Once you got that, go ahead and tighten up your electric strut and all that. Alright, now you got that removed. So you can see right there. This right here is what you gotta cut off or what you gotta drill out a hole for. So go ahead and place it right where you think it needs to be. Mark a hole and go ahead and drill it out. Now that we've drilled our hole, let's see if this fits on it. So should go in like this. And It's, it's a tight one. Okay, I really hope this turns out <laughs> good. I'm pretty excited to get this thing completed. Dude, that was perfect. I'm so glad I did that instead of cutting it off. That's perfect. Adjust our clutch perch in our mirror where it feels right. These are some grips that I had already that were laying around the house. I like these waffle ones. These Waffle style grips are really nice. That's what they had on originally. Um, but we're going to try them out again. So, when you're putting on your grips, you have one side that has a larger hole, and that's for the throttle side, and one side that has a slightly smaller hole. That's for this because you have to account for the size of the throttle assembly. So, check those out. This one's going to be on that side. Put this one on this side first. I've got some spiking hair gel. I don't know why, because I don't have any hair. So uh, instead of using hairspray, we're going to try and use this as a lubricant to get it on, and it should harden afterwards. So never done that before, but we'll see if it works. Get her on there. Just gotta get on. Just a little squirt on there. You probably don't need much. Just a little lubricant, you know. All right. A lot of people at this point like to put wire around their grips. I don't. Hey guys, there you have it. That is the new handlebar setup for the DR200SE. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.